bring me here. Well, hi everybody. Um, today I am with Ben Warren in, at the Bee Pure Clinic in Havelock North. And Ben is someone that we've been working with at Running Hot Coaching. He's one of the world's leading nutritionists and he has a lot to offer. And today we wanted to talk to Ben about one of the problems that we're seeing very often with our clients now, with our female clients. A lot of women in my age group in their 30s and their 40s are having problems with weight gain. And this is despite eating relatively healthy and despite having good exercise programs. And Ben's got a bit of the answer why this is. Ben, can you tell yeah. me what goes on with a woman and why we're a well, bit more difficult? Yeah, what, well, what starts happening is uh, it's, it's hormonal. So this is the big thing for people to realise is that, um, that weight gain and weight loss is primarily hormonal. And, and so, you know, yes, calories still do count, but what starts happening is that a hormonal imbalance um, then means that your body starts storing body fat, and we've got to get those hormones balanced. And so what tends to happen is our body steals the precursors to balance these hormones to build stress hormones. So we've got to basically look to rebuild a number of systems to enable the hormonal, hormonal system to get balanced. And at that point there, you know, people, feel better, they have better energy, they don't, um, you know, often hormonal imbalances associated with feelings of depression, mm. um, not sleeping, weight gain is a massive one, low energy is a big one, and so, yeah, it's to do, and, and, and so, it's so, not all our fault. It's not, no, it's the, <laughs> we're all yeah, it's the modern, it's the modern, it's the modern diet, the modern lifestyle, it's modern agricultural techniques, yeah, all of these things are adding in, that then it's loading, loading the, um, the, 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 the system. Yeah. So Ben, um, I've heard about estrogen dominance. Yeah. Um, and that is one of the reasons that our bodies take every little bit of food and go, oh, I need that, store that as fat, Absolutely. rather than using it as energy. Can yeah. you explain estrogen dominance? Yeah, so estrogen dominance is, is uh, so two primarily hormones, progesterone and estrogen. And, and estrogen dominance, it's, it's paramount in the modern world because there's so many molecules this carpet right here is off-gassing xenoestrogen so these are molecules that mim mimic estrogen yep. and then they sit on our receptor sites and and basically tell our body to, to store well right. for women particularly you know, men do a little bit too and so you know even like plastic water bottles people don't realize these, these plastic water bottles are leaching xenoestrogen so uh, far, uh, pesticides herbicides are xenoestrogenic so you know we've got in massive increased loading um, and then our bodies are not able to clear these estrogens out through the liver and it's a specific phase in the second phase of the liver that, that, that clears these, these estrogens. So we want to be able to clear, upregulate the clearing of these estrogens and also minimise the loading of them as much as possible. Okay, so what can we practically do from an exercise perspective first before we get on to the... Yeah, from an exercise thing? I think the number one way is to open up the cell receptor sites and that's going to be resistance training. So yeah, you Weight. Weight. Resistance. Weight, yeah. yeah. So running invariably is not going to cut it. <laughs> Bugger! Right, that's when I ran you like running. Yeah. Long, didn't lose any weight and, and, and I'm, I'm a real believer in this that uh, weights and resistance training is a really important thing for women in their 30s and 40s. And it's counterintuitive, really, because you say, oh, I don't want to bulk up, I don't want to be more muscular, but yeah. why is that important? Well, it's for a number of reasons. The first reason is that you, you're going to open up those cell receptor sites so that then you can start getting more energy in and out of the cells, so you yeah. can actually access the energy that's stored in the fat cells. So there's all this energy stored in the bo person's body, but they've got, they can't access it, they're tired. And so what it does allows you to access that energy, so that, that that's good. Uh, but then as you start raising their muscle mass, you start raising their basal metabolic rate or metabolism and they're going to burn more calories doing nothing yeah, and so yeah it's really good <laughs> and so what happens is we, we start seeing women who are um, kind of over you know, over fat uh, but what starts happening is, is as they start shrinking they put on more muscle mass and, and so their whole metabolism changes and this is what we've got to do and it's tied in with the hormones obviously is as we start doing the weight training is massive for it. And weight training itself actually lowers estrogen levels in the body, I believe. Is that correct? Yeah, it's certainly it's going to help clear helps, them. Yeah, so what, what, them. as soon as you start upregulating energy production, mm -hmm. you're basically going to upregulate the body's ability to clear them as well. So, Okay, so we've got our exercise. We do need to do some high-intensity work.